the Rush U Routes. A series dedicated to help rushers improve their rush routes on search and destroy and assuring the designated area becomes your territory. Covering all maps through every angle, making it possible to rush in every direction with the use of tactical equipment and unique strategies combined all together. In every route, there is that one point where the two sides will meet. That is what I call the encounter points. This is a display of the left, middle, and right encounter points on the map overflow. Today I will cover the side for the bomb attackers and only the left section of their run, Death Alley, along with how to overcome the encounter point obstacles that await you throughout this rush route. If you've ever tried rushing objective. Death Alley before, you should know how dangerous bomb. it can get with the head glitches, plus the incoming stuns and explosives. I know it's hard to rush this route with all this bullshit coming away. That's why to overcome this obstacle, we will use a smoke grenade. But don't forget to strap on tactical mask and flak jacket while attempting this. Cause if you don't, this can happen to you. Now there are many ways you can make the smoke land in the middle of Death Alley and one of the most common and obvious ways is to throw it as soon as you hit the encounter point. But you don't want to do this because if you pop out you can get taken out by a head glitcher. So what you're going to want to do is something like this. As soon as you hit it, do a fadeaway jump and voila. Now there's another way you can toss this without getting taken out by the head glitchers. And that's by throwing it at this yellow, I don't know what the fuck, sign, but you know, all you gotta do is this shit, follow what I do, okay, I'm gonna walk it, but pretend I'm running, okay, this is all running right here, I'm running, okay, so you're gonna start aiming your crosshairs upwards towards this brown shit, and you keep them up like this, until you hit this area, once you hit this area, you can toss it, and it'll bounce off of that yellow shit, and it'll land right there, easy. Now both of those examples are cool and all, but my favorite one is the one where I hit to this shortcut and I do something like this. Doing it this way is better because it's faster and you get the line of sight advantage when you hit this area, like this, like you have a line of sight. But, um, you don't want to pop out and just throw your smoke. You're gonna wanna do the strafe jump shit. So as soon as you pop here, strafe jump and you know, toss it. And you know, like I said, it just gives you that line of sight and also you evade shots. So it's really cool, like it's like the best way, I mean to me, but the only problem is that it's harder to do. Like it does take practice for you to make it land right. Sometimes while tossing the smoke, the enemy can be found rushing at you, and it can be a little dangerous. So for the enemy rushers, you want to have an early toss, so that way you'll have your smoke up already by the time you get there. The way to do this is at the spawn point, where you're going to want to follow along this yellow line here, and have your crosshairs going upwards towards this peak, right here, not this one right here, and you're going to see how it goes. So as you're running, you're already moving upwards, upwards at this peak. Look at where the crosshairs are at. Not this one. This peak. And you're going to toss it from here on. So that way, by the time you end up here, the smoke is already up and you can be ready. But this can limit your advancement. Because if the smoke doesn't land in a spot where you can cover most of the enemy's area, it'll be pretty hard to proceed ahead. I mean, you can try to kill the people. But sometimes it'll be way too many enemies that you're going to have to retreat back inside the smoke just to kill the that one enemy that you're already fighting. Like this clip. I'm, I have to go back to the smoke and I have to take a different rush route. And it'll then become like a middle rush route instead of the death alley rush route. This is a route overview to see what it's like to do this in real gameplay. There will be two parts for every rush route and this part is only covering the equipment tossing. Watch part 2 of this video where I will get in depth on the procedure when moving from spawn to spawn cause there's a lot more to learn about this route. <laughs>